Hi, Tracy here with BibleJournalingMinistries.com and in this video I get to share with you the latest box from Artsa, my favorite subscription box. So if you're ready, let's go ahead and get started. All right, I'm super excited to share the latest box from Artsa, the Holy Land Delivered subscription box. This happens every quarter and every quarter I get so excited when I see it at my front door. First of all, the way it's packaged always makes me smile and I always know it's Artsa when it shows up. This one is the Jezreel Valley and it does have hand-picked and locally sourced products all the way from Israel and I love 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 it. It is my favorite box. So if you like unboxings go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and that really does help us out. So let me go ahead and unbox this for you so we can see all the goodies inside and I am so excited <laughs> about this box. I did want to let you know that we always have a discount for you. It is in the description so you will get the cheapest price and the best discount by using that affiliate link and that does support our ministry. Thank you again so much in advance. All right, let's go ahead and open this up. I'm so excited. The thing about the Arts of Boxes is that, is that you get to experience Israel without actually having to spend like lots of money to go visit Israel. And every month you get something that is something to smell and taste and feel and just kind of give you that all immersive experience. And I love it. So I'm excited to share it with you. So we do get the card every month that comes in the box. This is box number 12. And it has welcome to the Jezreel Valley. It talks a little bit about the box and how things were created and then a little bit about this particular area. So I love to take the card and read it later and just kind of sit there and ponder it and stare at it and just see all the neat things. And just imagine that if I were there, that I could actually go see it. And also what's great is I can, as I'm experiencing these every quarter, I could be making a bucket list of one of these days, one of these days I'm gonna get to Israel and I'm gonna get to, these are the things that I wanna see in person. <laughs> so you also get some of these cards and some of them are recipe cards and some of them are just informational cards. So it just tells you a little bit about the different sites. So there's two different sites here that they're sharing us with us. How amazing would it be to go see those in person? Oh, so cool. And again, that's why I like to get these because I can sit and you know read about it and kind of experience it from afar. And one day I'll go. This one is the uh, Creamy Pashtita Pie and it uses, it was craft, crafted by the Spice Road and sourced from Jezreel Valley. How exciting. And it gives you um, all the ingredients that you need and um, how you can prepare it and make the pie. So that looks amazing and delicious. But apparently we're getting some Arts of Pie Spice, which I am super excited about. All right, and then you get the information on what's included in the box. I'll put this down here as well. And then you get the information from all of the local artists that they source from. And I love to see that. And then in the back also as well, their story. So you can read about their story. All right, so let's see what is included in the box this month. So the way they package this just looks, the presentation in this box, if you're giving this away as a gift, you can be confident that the presentation is gonna be exactly what you're saying here, which I think makes an amazing presentation. So let's go ahead and open up the box. Eek! <laughs> okay, the first thing we're going to see, what is the, <gasps> Oh my goodness, what is this? Let me see what this is. Here, let me move, let me move it. Let me move these things out of the way. Oh, you guys. Um, you can see I brought my spoon in case I wanted to taste anything. <laughs> there's always something to taste. <laughs> All right, let's see. What does this say it is? Oh my goodness, it's so cute. Okay, let's see. Do, do, do. Okay, so this is a premium subscription item and it is called Emmanuel's Shalom Elikim Embroidery Tapestry, a beautifully crafted work of art to hang on your wall adorned with a blessing. Peace be unto you. 
and decorated with the fertile produce of the Jezreel Valley and its surrounding hills. Okay, so when you get it, Arts a Box, you can get a regular subscription or you can upgrade for a few dollars more and get the premium subscription. I think the upgrade is around 20, 25 more. I'm not really sure, but then you get the you get the extra bonus item that they're including here for the premium subscribers. So let's open this up. And we can see it and touch it and feel it. So like if you were getting this. And you can also, what I like to do sometimes is um, if I see something that I like, sometimes I, I, um, I like it and I'm like, well, okay, I already have enough or whatever. Then I'll set it aside and gift it to someone for Christmas. It's always something that can be done. I'm trying to see if I have any more cards for this particular item, but I'm not seeing this. Is that what this one is? No, that's not it. Okay, so you get the little card that comes with it and it tells you a little bit about the artist here. And then you get this beautiful tapestry that you can use. And you know, if you didn't want to use it as a tapestry, you know, you didn't want to hang it on your wall, you could put it, you know, out and put things around it on a table. I think that would be really pretty too, but the embroidery on this is really beautiful. So absolutely love this. So would you let me know in the comments as I go through here, which is your favorite item for this month? I, I love to hear from you. I love to you know, see what you guys are saying or what you think is really great. And then I also love to give arts a feedback. They're always wondering like, what is it that everyone liked? And for me, it's hard when I'm giving them feedback because I'm like, I love it all. Keep sending it. I just have so much fun with it. I just, you know, <laughs> it's so much fun every month to open us. I tell them it's just like Christmas. All right, so let's open up this one here. These are chocolate choco date almonds, cocoa and date balls with almond butter. So let's see where that one is in this one here. These are the Nut House's chocolate almond balls, a delicious Israel snack for any time of day. Now, you know what, guys? I live in Arizona, so when I get chocolate, it's usually pretty melted, but we can still taste it and see if it's good. If it's not melted, we'll be pleasantly surprised. No, it's not melted. <laughs> We're pleasantly surprised. Oh my goodness. Yay. Oh, I'm so happy. All right, let's try it. And let's see if, there, if there's an artist card, because sometimes there's an artist card and I just like to share it along with it too. So, no arts card for this one. So again, this is chocolate almond balls. And we can try it. Oh, hmm. Wow. Okay. So it's dates, almonds, and cocoa. May contain traces of hazelnuts, peanut, soya, pistachio, coconut, and sesame. So there's only three natural ingredients. Oh, this is awesome. I can have these because there's no like uh, refined sugar. I'm eating no refined sugar these days. But their cocoa and date balls are actually really delicious. So I'm excited. I'm going to save that for later and move on with the video so you guys don't sit here and watch me eat this whole thing. But they're called chocolate date almonds. Huh. Wow. Okay. Yay. All right. What's next? Let's do the Lavido Lavender and Jehovah Body Cream or Jehovah Body Cream. A common scented nod to the Jezreel Valley's, um, Jezreel Valley's greenery. Okay. Let's smell it. Shoot. Come on out of there. Ooh, it was stuck at the bottom of that. All right, there's a little safety or seal here so everything doesn't fly out when it's in transit. Oh, this smells so nice. 
Oh, it's, oh, it smells really nice. It's like lavender and I guess Jehovah. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> Let's see. Lavender and Jehovah or Jehovah. Jehovah. <laughs> it says hydrate, nourish, and protect. Um, there is no mineral oil, no petroleum, silicones, propyl, um, propylene glyco, no paraben, no parabens, no animal testing. So this is really good for you. I mean, I would say it's good for you because a lot of um, products like these beauty products have these things and this one doesn't. No SLGs, no PEGs. I don't even know what SL. So it says no SLS and no PEG. So let me know in the comments if you guys know what that means because I you know, still get products from my mom for Christmas that are from a local chain store that smell like vanilla every year. So <laughs> I, I do need to switch to this better. You know, some of this stuff is, is more healthy, more healthy. Um, so it says, yes, herbally effective. Yes. Organic ingredients. Yes. It's recyclable, has essential oils, cold pressed oils, vegan, fr vegan friendly. Yes hyaluronic acid and yes gluten free well i'm not gonna eat it so why do you suppose they let you know it's gluten free let me know in the comments i don't understand why i need to know that unless i want to eat it and, and unless yeah let me know for, for those of you guys who know about that stuff because i feel like i'm not eating it but maybe because it's absorbed by your skin is that maybe it okay so there's no art card for that either either all right, let's look. The next thing here is Spice Roads, a hand-picked mix from Valley, um, from the Valley's field, perfect for the traditional um, Jezre Jezreel Valley pie and omelet recipes. Oh, yay, omelets. I'm going to do this tomorrow morning for breakfast then. Spice mix for om omelets and pies. I'll let you smell it. It smells delicious. Let's taste it. I'm not gonna take a ton of take ton of it in my mouth because it's a spice, but I'll take a good por portion. Mmm. I don't know, you guys. You could probably just eat that by itself. Mmm. <laughs> yummy. It's a little sweet. What's in here? I should have probably looked before I ate it, right? Mmm. <laughs> it's so tasty. This one says green pepper. Fried onion, there you go. That's why I said you can eat it by itself. It's got fried onion. Red pepper, diced, dried carrot, dried garlic chips, mmm. Dried basil, dried parsley, dried dill. Oh, I taste the dill. Dried um, champion mushrooms. Oh, I think it's champignon. Mushrooms and black pepper. This is gonna go in my omelet tomorrow. I'm super excited about that. Yummy spice mix for omelets and pies. So it looks like, do I have the card here for that? Hmm. I do not. <laughs> Why don't I have a card for that? Oh no, I do. I have the um, recipe here for the the posh tida pie. Maybe I should try that. Do I have everything? Oh, I do not have broccoli but I could substitute instead of broccoli. I could do cauliflower. Maybe I'll try that too. That sounds amazing. So this um, spice goes with this card. Can you guys see how fun this is for me when I open up these packages? They're so fun. I just love them. Okay, so let's see what's in this one. Oh, eek. Oh. Let's see, what does it say? It's like Christmas, I'm not kidding you. I actually, when they send me these items like this, I, I do actually use them. I really do. I have these little bowls that they've given me in the past and I use them like every every week they're in the dishwasher. Um, and when they get out of the dishwasher, then I get to use it again. <laughs> I should just wash it by hand. Uh, let's see what this says. Earthenware mugs handcrafted by a veteran ceramic, cer, a veteran ceramic nur. The design draws its inspiration 
from the picturesque local white stone quarries that gleam under a radiant blue sky. So this is an earthenware mug. So you're supposed to drink out of this. Ha, huh, yay. This one will look really nice next to the other one that I use. I do really enjoy using the products that I get. I don't just display things that they give me. I, I literally use them uh, because I just, I get so excited <laughs> to use them and try them and, and have something a little bit different. Uh, this, ooh, this looks like jam. Let's see. So this is pomegranate jam. Oh, well my pomegranates are coming in season soon, so yay. This one says it's a uh, Chimpy Zimox pomegranate jam, a sweet and healthy spread made out of one of Israel's favorite summer fruits. So this one has apple and it says apple squeezed pomegranates, sugar, honey, fresh lemon juice, and pectin. All right, best before 325. Let's try it. Yeah, this looks like the kind of pomegranate um, jam I make. Let's try it. Mmm. I definitely can taste the honey in there. That's good. Mmm. See why I bring my spoon? Then you guys don't see me put my fingers in everything. <laughs> All right, so this one comes with a card. Ooh. And it says, um, Hami and Oksana. Zimak, and so they're the the artisans or the owners and it says pomegranate jam it says enjoy it with a piece of bread yogurt bowl or straight out of the jar <laughs> that's what i did straight out of the jar and it tells you a little bit about how they came to be so i love to read their stories and sometimes whenever i'm like like let's say i, I didn't have um, a need for this earthenware bowl like i wasn't going to use it but it was really nice i would sometimes like take the um uh, the card the artist card with the gift and put it in a basket with some other things for someone so if you get anything um in your art box that you're like i like it but i'm not sure i'm going to use it it's just going to sit on my shelf i'm going to gift it to somebody you could do that you could you know grab you know let's say you didn't like pomegranates and you didn't want to try and open this you could you know maybe get some crackers and you know the jam and the card and just kind of make a cute little maybe even add a little candle or something i don't know and make a little cute uh, basket for someone for a gift so don't feel like if you get something in your box or don't feel like oh i don't want to subscribe because what if i don't like anything uh, or what if i don't like one thing and i feel like i'll waste my money no don't feel that way because you can always re-gift some of these items because you're paying for the items you're paying for everything in here so it's, it's not like it's a gift you're re-gifting it's something that you purchased and you know you don't have a use for it but someone else might really really like it like this girl over here all right <laughs> let's see what else we have here we're almost done with our box yay okay so this says soothing and relaxing eye pillow and it's made from manashi manashi is the name um his it says situated in the heart of Jezreel Valley Menashe Molayam's factory is a perfect symbol of Israel's religious harmony Christians Jews and Muslims all work on site respecting another one another's traditions oh, that's nice that's cool the way they kind of work things out with the different groups okay so let's see this so this is lavender Mediterranean sea salt and wheat So it comes in this box, and this is what it looks like. What does it say? You know, a lot of these things remind me of things that I see at Trader Joe's. <laughs> you know, these like the way they package these just kind of reminds me of, I don't know, when I shop at the Trader Joe's, <laughs> which is also a treat for me. I enjoy that too. This says, our scented eye pillar pillow is filled with a calming mix of organic lavender flowers yeah mediterranean sea salt and locally grown wheat and comes encased in a custom designed pillow inspired by the scenic fields of the jezreel valley in summertime 
The pillow is perfect for promoting a sense of tranquility, wellness, and release from stress and anxiety. Oh boy, don't we all need this? It says to use simply chill in the freezer for 30 minutes, slip over your eyes and let the cool aromatherapy benefits of lavender work their magic. Well, that's nice. I like that this is something you put in the freezer as a, as opposed to, I've seen some of these kind of bags that you can get at like the craft stores and you're supposed to put them in the microwave to kind of warm them up and then you put them on your back and those are so nice too. Corn, corn bags, I think. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. But this one you actually put in the freezer it says this pillow is lightly weighted with wheat and salt, allowing it to rest comfortably over your forehead and gently mold to the shape of your face. It blocks out the light and envelops your senses, envelops your senses in soothing fragrance, helping you feel refreshed and rejuvenated. That is very nice. You know, I could put this in the freezer and then as I'm taking a bath, I'll just put this right over my eyes. Isn't that nice? So that is the eye pillow. All right, we have one more item here in the box. I'll put the box aside here. And these are lampshades. Whoa, okay. These are Sha'a guys. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, I apologize. And these are custom lampshades and you can use it as a decorative piece for your table. Well, let's check it out. It says, illuminate your home with beauty and wonder of the Holy Land with our exquisite designs inspired by the rich biblical history of Northern Israel. We have carefully selected two pieces that will captivate your heart. Okay. Oh, okay. So what you do is you get a wine glass place a candle in the wine glass and then you can put these on on it and it will be a lampshade so let me open that oh these are pretty huh. so you just fold them in like this this is our little craft project. Sometimes you get craft projects like this. This one has the word, the Dead Sea on it, Jerusalem. I like that. And then you have this one. So my candle loving friends, this is for you, I think. So I don't have a candle nearby. Otherwise I would see like, does it fit on a candle thing? I would imagine it does. But just be careful, there are some um, safety instructions here as well. But if you had your glass, that's how it would, pretend this is a glass. That's how the shade would just kind of fit on top of that, like that. It's called a tag tagajor, I think. And it says, read the safety instructions. Where are the safety instructions? Oh, here they are. So you can't, it can't contact the fire directly, otherwise it's it's paper, so it will flame. It says, use heat resistant glasses so the flame is not in direct contact, contact with the glass. So use your wine glass, it says. You may fill the glass base with a thin layer of rice or salt in order to protect the glass from leakage of the wax candle. Put the glass on a flat surface, which is stable and non-slip. Keep away from the wind, and then you just you just place it on the top and the air exits out of the top. But do not leave the candle unattended and keep flammable materials away from children. Okay, that makes sense. Well, that was fun. This was a really amazing box, you guys. I would love to know what was your favorite thing in the box? Like, did you like the candle lamps? Did you like the, co I mean, the, co the chocolate almonds were pretty amazing. Uh, the pomegranate jam. This one, I can't wait to try. I'm gonna just so delight in trying that. Um, or the tapestry as well. This was a very fun box to to unbox today. And I am just so thankful uh, that Arts has sent this box for review. And they continue to, you know, touch base with me every now and again. We do have 
you know, good conversations and good emails, just a good company to work with. They really do care. So I hope that you guys support them. If you like these things, go ahead and use the discount code that we provided and our link. And I hope that you enjoyed this really amazing and fun unboxing. I hope you have a wonderful day. Goodbye.